Good morning, everybody. It's Mr. Brown. We're going to really quickly take a look at our assignment for today, and hopefully I will be able to help you guys work through it. Um, really quickly, what we're doing is using the spot healing tool to get rid of some unsightly acne scars and acne. We're also going to be using the liquify tool to make some changes to the model's face. So first thing we want to go to photopia.com and you should have already downloaded the sample image from the website or Google classroom. I'm going to go ahead and click file and open to get that opened up on my iPad. I'm going to be going to browse. And here I'm going to open the image. <clears throat> so here's our image. Really quickly, we're going to work through this. It's not a hard thing to do. It just takes a little bit of time to get it done. So I'm going to show you a sample of what you need to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so that I can see really a lot more carefully um, what needs to take place. And my zoom has stopped working. So um, I'm going to... Yep, it's just completely stopped, so that's really aggravating. I'm going to go ahead and refresh. This, this happens a lot. I'm sure you guys are aware. And I'm going to open again from browse and click. And here we go. Let's try to zoom in now. There we go. Um, I'm going to come over here to this Band-Aid, which is our spot healing tool. And essentially what I want to do, I, I need to adjust my cursor size. And cursor size is probably the most important thing that we're going to be adjusting and working with today. Because the cursor size needs to be just big enough to cover everything, but not much bigger. And the reason is, is because the algorithm that samples... The pixels can get kind of confused and gets crazy when you do too big of a space. So initially, I'm just going to click, and it's going to eventually get rid of our spot. It does run kind of slow, but that's because this is a web-based browser. Now, single clicks are the best way to do this, but if you need to, you can just draw a line, and it will do a larger spot. Um, it does, as you can see here, it kind of creates more distortion and weirdness. So just try to do single clicks as much as possible so we can get the cleanest, nicest image. So I'm working on this model's face, cleaning up various spots. I'm going to shrink and increase the brush size as needed. Left and right brackets that are beside your peaky can do that. And she has a lot of work that needs to be done on her forehead. And so just kind of work your way around to get this worked out. Um, I do realize that you're working on a Chromebook and that this might not work completely the right way. And so just do your best on this and submit what you can. I just want to see that you're getting the concept down. Uh, the end goal is to have her face completely cleaned up. There is one more part of the assignment, however. I do want you guys to um, make some liquify adjustments to her eyes and her nose. So I'm just going to um, duplicate this layer and I'm going to go up to filter at the top and then I'm going to go to liquify. And what I want to do is I want to come to my um, bulge tool down here, uh, bloat tool, whatever they want to call it. And I'm just going to make the model's eyes a little bit larger and try to get them even on each side. Um, a little bit larger. And I'm going to do the opposite to her nose. I want to shrink the nose down. So I'm just going to just shrink along her nose bridge and shrink here. And we're going to just try to get her nose to be a little bit smaller. Um, also, uh, you know, just don't get crazy with this. We want it to be realistic looking. We don't want anything too just insane out there. We just want to have a natural kind of look, which this is not, this is not bad. We'll probably... Just kind of go with this. <clears throat> okay, when you're done, hit OK. And now I'm going to zoom back out. And now we have our model. And if we compare to the, bef the, the after, you can see that it, it's not crazy, but it, it's a little bit different. And that's kind of what we want. You know, I might have made her eyes a little bit too big, but that's okay. Uh, subtlety is important. When you're done, just uh, make sure your layers are turned on. Come up to File and then go export as and JPEG and submit that on Google Classroom. 
and you will be done. Uh, email me at william.brown at terrellisd.org if you have any questions, and I'll be glad to try to help you guys out. Hope you all have a great Wednesday.